Hey, what's up guys and welcome to Series English. My name is Antonia Ramarker and today we'll focus on the difference between must and have to. We'll touch upon the meaning, the grammar and everything. So let's get to the bottom of this and start with the meaning. Must presupposes a strong obligation with which the speaker agrees. So you agree with it, you understand it, you realize the importance. While have to means that the circumstances impose this obligation. So the speaker does not agree with it, does not understand it. You have no other choice. Something makes you do it. Now let's get to the examples. I must get some sleep. I understand the importance of getting some sleep because I am exhausted and I can't do anything else. So I must get some sleep. Meat must be cooked thoroughly. I agree with it. I understand it. Yes, it must be cooked thoroughly. She has to leave tomorrow. Here, some circumstances impose this obligation on her. So, probably, she has some business in another city. So, she has to leave tomorrow. It is urgent. You have to stay up all night. Once again, there are some circumstances. Something makes you do it. And you have to stay up all night. You've got a lot of work for instance, or you carry out some experiment. Do you have to stay up all night? So mostly it is all about the attitude. Here you agree, you think it is right, yes, I must do it. And the application is very strong. And here you do not think so. You might be against it, but you have no other choice you are cornered into doing it. Let's take a sneak peek at two more meanings of the modal verb must. It can be used for emphasis. I must admit I didn't see it coming. I must say you look absolutely stunning today. And must can be used to show that something is very likely, probable or is certain to be true. Harry's been driving all day. He must be absolutely exhausted. And now let's quickly view the difference between the negative forms. Mustn't means it is forbidden. You can't do it. And don't have to means that it is not necessary. You don't need to do it, but you can. You mustn't make too much noise. The baby is asleep. You don't have to take off your shoes. You can, but you don't have to. However, in some cultures, when you visit somebody, when you're a guest at somebody's place, you are supposed to take off your shoes. And now let's get down to business. Let's talk grammar. Must and have to. Must is a modal verb. That's why it doesn't have most of the tense forms. Must has only the present form, the present tense form, and that's it. So you can use must when you talk about present or future too. As for have to, it has all the forms. So quite often, instead of must in a sentence, you are supposed to use have to. Let's take a look at the examples. I will have to move to another city. Future. She had to quit her job as the work environment was unbearable. She had to quit her job. Here the example is once again about the circumstances pressing this obligation on you. You could say, I had to quit smoking. I kept coughing all the time. So I had to quit smoking. It was my decision and I agreed with it. However, take a look at this sentence. 
You must have left your keys in the car. Actually, this sentence is about the past, but only one meaning of the modal verb must can be used in such a construction. Must plus a perfect infinitive, have plus the third form of the verb or the ending ed. And it is an assumption. So probably you left your keys in the car. I think it's possible. You did leave them there. You must have left your keys in the car. So, so this is the meaning we talked about. When must is used to show that something is highly probable when it was certain to be true. Only in this meaning must can be used in this construction, so be careful. Also notice that after have we always have to, a particle to, before the next verb, while when we use must there is no particle to after it. I must go. You don't say I must to go. Also must is used at the beginning of the sentence to create a question. Must to go now? You don't use an auxiliary verb here. While have to behaves like a regular verb because it is an equivalent of a modal verb. Modal verbs are all sophisticated and difficult, while the equivalents of the modal verb are just casual guys. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, do not forget to press the button, like, share and subscribe, and I hope to see you in my next video. Happy English and Russian practice! Bye!